When we wake up, we stay up. Got no time to waste up. On the ground, we stay up. Can't let nobody face us. We on the way to lead out. They coming for us. We street stop to us. Nothing's impossible. That's why they call us dreamers. That's why they call us dreamers. Hey, dreamers. It's me, Tarifa the Dreamer. And today's video, I will be answering your question. If you're new here, subscribe! I asked you guys to ask me some questions for my first Q&A. And these are the questions that you asked. So, let's get to know me! How old are you? When is your birthday? What's your horoscope sign? I am 20 years old. I I'm a 2000s baby. I was born on May 8th and I am a Taurus. Where are you from? I am from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. What do you love most about Trinidad? I love that growing up, it felt like we were all one. I grew up celebrated all races and all cultures and all religions and it was just a big nice world of fun and I love that I'm so cultured because of it. You are well taken care of because somebody's always looking out for you. How was your migration? How was it transitioning from Trinidad Island life to America? For me, I always wanted to live here. I think that this is the kind of environment that I would thrive in. How was transitioning? It was normal. I love it here. I love it back home too, but like here I just get to be all my crazy self and it's fine. What do I miss most about Trinidad? Going to the beach. I miss my family's cooking. A good Trini cooking. Are you bilingual? Do you speak any other languages? See, si. I'm like Espanol. Do you like New York? I don't know why everyone assumes that when you move to America, you live in New York. Like, no, I don't live in New York. But I love New York and I love visiting there. I have a lot of fun in New York. How's life away? Good. I would say all the things that I wanted, all the changes that I wanted, I have it. So life is really good. You know, there are difficulties like the stuff that you see in the news that um, you see the color of my skin. That's it. That's a thing. But other than that, it's pretty good. Why a dreamer? And I believe that's referring to my name, Tarifa, the dreamer. Why a dreamer? Why not a dancer? Why not a teacher, etc., etc.? I love to dream. I dream every night. I dream to fall asleep. I have all these big dreams in my life. Things that would seem impossible to a person when you tell them, oh, these are the things that I want to say. Oh, you definitely dream it. I, I like to live life in my happy positive anything is possible life is good you can follow all your goals you can achieve everything that's just my vibe who are you and what is your goal as a dreamer now this question was so good i still am thinking about it the answer but who am i well anytime somebody asks me that question i say that I am a spiritual being having a human experience. That's who or what I am in my thing. And what is my goal as a dreamer? I would say the goal of the name or the brand is to encourage you to live your dreams. So lead by example or do what I can do to live my dreams and encourage you to do the same. And just create a community where we could support each other in achieving that. Why did I start a YouTube channel? What inspired my YouTube channel? Why I wanted to start one in the first place? Let's go back 10 years ago. I wanted to have a YouTube channel since I currently. I, I'm the girl that talks to herself, that talks to an audience that's not there, that thinks about things and gives speeches to no one then I felt like okay if you're gonna do it anyways how about you actually have a camera how about you actually have an audience but what actually inspired me to start this time was I'm growing and 
I feel like I have wisdom. I'm young. And a lot of people say you're really mature for your age. You have a lot of insight for your age. You have a bright future ahead of you. I like the way you do things. And people always come to me for advice and people always ask me to help them with stuff. And it's like, okay, how will we put it all in one place where other people that I don't know we could see and I could just have that self-expression. So that's why I started it. Like to just stop being a crazy person in my room talking to myself and actually have somebody to talk to. You, hi, hello. See, you're real. We're having a conversation. What is my most exciting short-term goal? And for me, I'm gonna say short-term is like the rest of the year because we're in June. I want to learn how to drive and I want to get my driver's license. Miss Corona, can you get it together so everything can open up so your girl can learn how to drive? What are my plans for my future for my YouTube channel and in my life? Growing that's dependent on you like you help me grow you decide what happens to my channel that's kind of in your hands what i plan to do is grow give you better content give you better quality be of value like be something that you look forward to seeing be something that actually helps you so that's a youtube part the life part to travel i want to learn how to drive i want my own house i'm gonna jeep white one and you know just to come more into my own and take good care of myself it's very simple i'm just interested in living my best life what is something that you've never done but you've always wanted to do i have two answers the first one is learn to swim how you live 19 years on an island and you can't swim and the second thing is get drunk like i've never drunk enough to get drunk I want to see what Tarifa is like completely wasted or if I could even get drunk. What made me decide to become a fashion blogger? Well, I love fashion. I love clothes. I love shoes. I love jewelry. I love looking cute. Anything that allows me to have my creative expression, I'm trying to do. But I wanted something to focus on. What is my dream job? This. I also want to do like interior designing or like organizing like stuff inside your house i want to take care of that or like event planning or marketing or something along that line everybody wants to be an entrepreneur like there are other jobs so like this is what i want to do do you have any talents or red body skills i can sing i can dance with good choreography I believe I can act with some guidance because I've been needing guidance. I can talk really well. I can do public speaking. Not everybody can do that. The red body stuff, I'm flexible. I'm not like super flexible, but like I can stay in uncomfortable positions for a long period of time and feel very fine. And I can hold a pencil between my butt cheek and my thigh. How would I describe my personality? I'm flirtatious and bubbly and full of energy and I would say that I'm funny. But I'm not funny like a comedic funny. I'm funny like the things that I do and the way that I do it is funny. And what is the best or the most beautiful thing about my personality? I think I am good at making people smile and bringing joy to people's lives and being a light. And I'm honest. I'm really honest. What do you consider to be your greatest and your worst attributes? My greatest attributes, my patience. Like, I'm patient as a mofo. Like, I'm patient, patient. And my worst attribute is I'm a little bit rough. Like, I don't really have a filter. So, when I feel something, you know. I'm passionate, but sometimes that goes overboard where you feel like I'm attacking. What are your nervous habits? I put up my fingers. I can't stand dirty fingernails. So I clean my fingernails when I'm nervous or I talk really fast or I can't find my words. I have like physical nervous habits. Like I, sh I, sh I be shaking. My legs be like jello. Like I don't be getting it together. I can't breathe, stuff like that. I don't like to be nervous. I get stage fright. I love to perform, but every single time right before I perform, my legs are butter and my voice is shaky like at the start of my performance and then it gets better than that but like 
I'm mean, nervous. I love it, but I hate it. What do I do when I'm depressed or frustrated? Cry. Sleep, or I meditate, or I listen to music, or I sing really loudly. There's this thing I do where I sing and I feel it in my entire body. So I just sing as loudly as I can, and I cry while I sing, and it just gets the stuff out. Then I fall asleep. This person asked, how are you? And someone else asked, how is everything? I'm good. I'm coping with the things that are going on in the world. It's a bit hard for me because I'm a very emotional and passionate person. But I'm coping. I try to do things to keep my mind in a good, healthy place. And how is everything in the world? Everything's going loco. I feel the energies around me and it overwhelms me so i'm really trying to like keep it together are you happy are you in a happy place of your life right now i'm the most myself and i'm in the most comfortable with myself in my body in my life and who i am and my purpose yes so yes i'm in a very happy place in my life right now. what are my biggest pet peeves when people use the wrong grammar and people just use whatever grammar and whatever spelling and for whatever words and stuff and it's like that's not what that means i'm one of those grammar police people i'm not sorry about it when people spoil movies and spoil shows for me when people text or use their phones while they drive and they really don't have to you are putting everybody else's life in danger. You're putting your life in danger, the other people in the car in danger, the other people on the road in danger. Stop using your phone while you drive. Put your hands on the wheels and pay attention to the road. What are my insecurities or my fears? I eradicated most of my insecurities. Anything physical is gone. I'm like... I'm perfect. My body is perfect. It does what it needs to do. Boom, boom, boom. I'm moving on. Insecurities in life, in general, I would say one. I will let you have one. I am working on it still, but I have this feeling or this thought inside my head that people don't care about what I have to say and people don't care about how I feel and my thoughts are valid. That's an insecurity that I have, but it prevents me from sharing it prevents me from taking part in stuff it's like my opinion matters my voice matters somebody somewhere is going to benefit from me speaking my truth what are my favorite foods my favorite food item that you could do almost anything with is potato i love potato and then i would say pizza i like pizza i can eat pizza every day <laughs> what is your favorite memory anytime that i've been on a plane especially at night time or in the airport that whole experience of traveling i love it i love it i love it so much what is my wildest fantasy so my wildest fantasy is me living in the, the house that i built in my head with my husband and my children and i do the bare minimum and i get millions of dollars every day and I just live my best life every day. That's my wildest fantasy. And I'm going to make it happen regardless. I don't care what you say. I don't care about the logic. It's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. Period. What is your favorite thing to do? Sleep. Okay. Other than sleeping, I like to sing. And I like to journal. And I like to talk to myself. What do you do in your spare time? Sing. Sleep. Journal. What is something that not many people know about you i'm the most judgiest non-judgmental person because <laughs> like i'm not gonna judge you i'm not gonna make you feel bad about your thing i'm not gonna hold anything against you i'm not gonna make you know but in my head and to people closest to me i will tell you exactly how i feel about what you did do you get mad easily i would say no i would say i don't get mad easily it takes a lot for me to actually get and feel anger because i hate the feeling of anger like it's so overwhelming and i have dangerous thoughts so i don't like to get angry but something that does get me mad quicker than the regular is if i have expressed to you that i don't like something more than once and you keep doing it again and again and again and again and again and again you're gonna tick me off have I ever had a near death experience? Every time 
that I cross the road, I almost die. There is a God. Like There must be someone or something looking out for me to keep me alive because I would be dead. Do I trust my head or my heart more? I'm a pretty smart person. Like my brain is a good brain. I trust my head more. Like my head makes more sense. My head uses logic. My head knows what's up. My heart she be doing stuff that i don't understand so i would trust my head more but i follow my heart more when it comes to making choices of passion but my head when it comes to making sense and not making stupid mistakes who or what brings me the most joy in my life music I could not live without music. I could not live without singing. What's my skincare routine? Now, I love that question. And I'm gonna give you a video, a whole video on that question sometime soon. Facial cleansing every day, sometimes twice a day, depending on my activities. Exfoliation once a week, mask once a week, tone every like three times a day. But washing your face and moisturizing your face is the most important thing. Like if you're not doing them two things, then how you expect to have good skin? I don't understand. This question is like, what well, you want to know? But I'll answer it. What are you looking for in a boyfriend? What's most important to you outside looks? Well, first of all, looks is very important. I'm shallow like that. <laughs> Just being very honest. I'm tiny bit shallow. But what's important to me, you need to be very patient. Because I'm a lot to deal with. Two, you need to be very honest. Because I can deal with not knowing the truth. And three, I have to be the only one that you want. Otherwise, it's not going to work. It's very important. Loyalty, faithfulness. If they don't come in hand in hand, then I need both of them. What's your biggest deal breaker in a relationship? I have two. What you need is called honing, just be unfaithful to your partner. So that's day breaker number one. And two, abuse. You're not going to hit me, you're not going to curse at me and call me names and scare me with your voice and torture me mentally, etc. etc. So, abuse and of any kind physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, just being too annoying, whatever the hell. And Y'all not gonna take no horn. You, we, 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 uh, <laughs> someone believe me, believe me, are you crazy? What is my idea of a perfect date? That's such a cute question. My idea of a perfect date. You wanna meet me? I'll tell you what you need to have on this date, right? You can do anything, like literally inside, outside, at your house, pay, don't pay, a lot of money, a lot of money, doesn't matter. I need to have your full attention. And I want something where we are interacting most of the day. Like we need to be talking or doing something together. And you gotta feed me. Those three things. That's basically what I need. This question! Dog, why? Can I twerk? Yes. You want proof? So my OnlyFans is... Just kidding. My morals won't let me. What is the sweetest thing that a guy has ever done for me? Shut down my insecurities. Like, never give me the opportunity to say anything bad about myself. I would say that. Do you want to start a family? How many kids? Where do you want to live? I love that question so much. Yes, I want to start a family. I will start a family tomorrow. Whenever you're ready. I would like to have two kids, a boy and a girl. However, if my husband wants to have a football team and we can afford it, I'll make it happen. I want to live in a place where there are four seasons, like in the temperate zone, I guess. Yeah, four seasons. So I think I'm in the right country. I just don't know which state I want to live in yet. What do I think is my sexiest feature? Like my whole body, what do you mean? Okay, fine. I'll just do the ones that I get most compliments on my lips my smile um my figure like my like the way my body is shaped i love this question too what makes you feel love and what are your love languages so i guess they have the same answer my two main receiving love languages are physical touch and quality time i love to be touched i love touching i 
love to spend time with you and like attention. Am I giving love language? Words of affirmation. I'm gonna tell you I love you all day long. I'm gonna tell you anything you need to hear all day long, no problem. And the last question is, how do you handle your haters? And how are you planning to deal with the people that are gonna come at you? I got a smart mouth. So I wanna be a snapback queen. So come at me haters so I can tell you how I really feel. Or I can just beam you with so much positivity that you just don't know what to do with yourself. But I think the key to dealing with haters is understanding that you don't have to take anything personal. If you know who you are, you know what you're about and what you stand for. If you hurt or offend somebody, you know, you could clarify what you meant versus what you didn't mean and how they took it and apologize for that. But if it's just somebody just talking, they talk, just talking, they talk sick, then you don't gotta take them on. There's a block button, utilize it. There's a delete button, utilize it. Okay guys, so that was it for my very first Q&A. Hopefully you know me a little better now. Thank, thank you for watching. Thank you for caring about my life and my channel. Comment below what else you wanna see on my channel. What else you wanna know about me. Or you can answer some of the questions on your own. Like I wanna get to know you too. This is a get to know me, but let's get to know each other. Like the video below, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, please, and um, thank you. Stay tuned for more videos. I post videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Click the bell next to the big red juicy subscribe button for post notifications. When I post a video, it's gonna let you know, ting, 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 Terry for the dream. I just posted a video, go check it out.